Hey Cancers, this is your reading for April 2020, Summer Rising Venus Sign. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Let's go in and get your messages from Spirit. Your angel guys, give me the cards for Cancer. Summer Rising Venus Sign. What message do you have here for my Cancers? April going into May. This April going into May. Okay, summer rising Venus. Now, what message do you have? Okay, Cancers. Focus on love, Cancer. Look for the good attributes. <laughs> Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Okay. You have demonstrate love here. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. Even the challenges has its gift, okay? It makes you stronger. Okay, what y'all doing, okay? Getting to know each other, learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow in the future. Energy coming up here. So some relationships, some union, okay? That is going to be happening for you guys here. I feel like you're really trying to get to know someone or this is a time for you to get to know someone here, okay? Um, your focus may not be on love or it may not have been on love lately, okay? But love is the focal point right now. Okay, end of April. April going into May here, okay? They're talking about love and you demonstrating love to the people that you find important to you, okay? And focus on love at this moment. Not so much challenges and struggles um, that you may have gone through or that you're going through right now. Because I feel like if you don't have anyone uh, right now, you're single, you're getting to know someone. Someone new is coming in, okay? If you're currently in a connection already, I feel like you're getting to know the person uh, more that you're with. Okay, maybe this person has got raw, uh, hmm, grown spiritually. Okay, um, yeah, you've been with someone for a long time. Okay, you grow in a relationship, so you get to know this person a little bit more. There's changes surrounding your con your connection with someone if you're yeah, in okay, a connection really. right now, um, cancers, okay? So you're getting to know this new person um, that is emerging um, either mentally, spiritually. Um, you could have a partner that is trying to um, study a new skill, okay? Um, and they're changing as a person. Maybe they're coming, becoming more mature and they're pulling away. You're feeling like, why is this happening, okay? You're getting to know each other more at this time. So learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Your partner, if you're in a connection, may not be focused right now. They may be more driven towards money or achieving goals and stability uh, with the number 44 coming up here. I want you guys to see that, okay? So, yes, getting to know each other and building um, a, a firm foundation with each other. Okay, Cancers, let's go ahead and go into your reading and uh, clarify some of these cards. See you guys soon. Hey, Cancers, let's see. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Let's take a look here. What message do you have for Cancers? Okay. They're talking about taking care of yourself as well here, Cancer. Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now at this moment. They're telling you to focus on love as well. So um, I feel like they're talking about the energy that you uh, give out or what you think as well in your mind, okay, and how you feel. They want you to, um, I feel like they want you to move on a more positive um, vibration, Think positively, okay? Do things for yourself that are positive. Um, take some time to care for your nails, care for um, your body. Um, pay attention to your health, okay? Your state of mind, what calms you, what frustrates you, what upsets you, okay? Um, 
you take notice of it but you don't take it in take it in internally like uh let it feed off of you you acknowledge it okay that's what i'm hearing you acknowledge the frustration or the pain or the struggle okay um but you are really caring for yourself so saying loving words to yourself okay you're beautiful you're important you're smart um you are confident i am confident things like that to uplift yourself okay because i'm feeling in some way the strength card is here for you okay they want you to make time for self-care taking care of yourself and focusing on love as well as important okay so i feel like there is this energy of um being around people that make you feel better okay they don't give you this type of down depressed type of energy as well i know they're saying look for good attributes in each and every person in your life but you don't have to associate yourself that's something else that i'm hearing okay there's a sense of detaching from things that drain you if the card is here telling you to make time for self-care okay Demonstrate love here, Cancer. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. The people you love. I feel like that is the key word. The people that you love. Not the... Okay. Got two cards coming out here. So be around people that uplift you. You have Soda Light here. Um, socialize and join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships. This is what I'm telling you, okay? And connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. That's part of your self-care here, okay? And a part of the um, of how you should demonstrate love because I feel like associating, associating yourself or socializing with people that think like you, okay? Um, the energy that you give out, you'll get back as well because you're on the same wave link okay i'm getting a lot of energy frequency and vibration type of um, messages here for you cancer fluorite natural beauty and authenticity be yourself as god made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out when you form these new connections these new friendships be yourself entirely i know you guys are going to do this okay miracles and blessings everything has its gift when i pulled this card i felt like there was some struggle behind that possibly some challenges that you're facing with the number 13 um yes the number 13 going on um on this card makes me feel like the death card okay endings and new beginnings a transformation for yourself that's why they're saying take some downtime maybe there's some meditation over here um some coaching ses sessions here for you to um i was gonna say intensify your confidence that's not the word i'm looking for intensify but um make you feel more confident and in control of your issues that's what i'm feeling okay yes <laughs> all right balancing masculine and feminine energies that's what they want you to do here cancer allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence that's what they're saying right now yes i feel like you're going to possibly meet someone um, in a spiritual group or community someone that's going to be like-minded okay if you're single here or this is a partner that is trying to um, get to know themselves more um, at this moment. Maybe they are studying spiritual um, avenues, okay? I'm getting the word astrology here for some reason. Someone's studying astrology. This is either you or your partner, okay? But you're learning to meet another's need for love. Someone's growing and there's a transformation. This is why there's an, um, a learning curve here. That's what I'm seeing. Meeting each other's needs.
Okay, this card that keeps coming out. Own your divine power. Okay, this is a reminder to every sign that I've read for. They want you to give of yourself, but do not, do not sacrifice yourself um, for people that are codependent. Don't be, don't be people pleasing. Be assertive and um, empowerment. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment here as you get to know someone i feel like they will they will adore your your um confidence that's what i'm hearing with the number 44 here it brings out the energy of stability or um you having control of some sort here it brings out the emperor type of fire energy and it tells me about progress in your relationships in your life okay you owning your divine power it, it makes you more attractive here cancer that's what i'm trying to say let's see what this is we're gonna cl um, clarify this a little bit more I'm going to see why they want you to focus on love here and the good attributes. Oh, past energy here, okay? Focus on love and not the people that bring you down, criticize you, okay? In every move that you make, you have the eight of cups here, okay? All right. They want you to focus inward. There's a sense of being listening to your intuition here with the eight of cups leaving past people past situations behind you and going um on this journey here either physically or spiritually okay they're saying why you're searching for fulfillment okay focus on love and let that lead you I'm going to say don't be fooled, though, okay, by people that just want to take your energy away from you, all right? That's what I'm hearing. You have the three of cups here. Pay attention to your connections, to your friends, to your group of people, okay, that you associate yourself with. That's why you have the next card here that's saying, <laughs> okay, it's basically telling you about your social group here, Cancer to connect with like-minded people get involved with people that make you um that make you feel good okay this may be a healing group okay yes a soul group a healing group this could be online this could be um at a brick and mortar type of facility okay that you travel to I feel like you will be making new friendships. This is you going into new friendships here. That's what I see. Demonstrate love here. Woo! <laughs> okay. You have the nine of pentacles coming out here. I feel like these new friendships, these new connections will allow you to be your natural and beautiful self. That's why you have the nine of pentacles coming out. You're going to be able to give out love and receive it with these new friendships that you form. Make healthy and supportive new friendships, okay? I feel like so people don't use you either because there's a sense that there, was, there were situations and the past energy here that... Huh, Someone may have taken advantage of you, okay? And you had to leave either a person, okay? A place or a situation that you were dealing with here and make time for yourself. They're saying make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential and forming new healthy connections is essential as well here. Miracles and blessings. They want you to balance your masculine and your feminine energy. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and the masculine side to give you confidence like the king of wands here. Okay. King of wands here. They 
want you to focus on your goals. That's what I'm seeing here with this fire energy. Aries Leo, Sagittarius energy that I'm seeing. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you guys are protecting what you have because someone did take advantage of you here in this past energy where you had to walk away from something and focus mainly on yourself here, Cancer, okay? But they want you to balance out this masculine and this feminine energy, okay? Let this masculine energy, because I feel like fire could be a little rough sometimes. Where you have to be firm, okay? In making your decisions due to you wanting progress or improvement in your life. But I feel like these miracles and these blessings will come in by you balancing this energy here, Cancer. Feminine side to creatively inspire you and the masculine side to give you confidence. Can't just have all confidence. Because you'll be so wound up and uptight that you won't be able to be creative. And you'll be holding back connections or um, relationships that can come in and actually help you because you have your defense up that you won't let someone in. I feel like that is the message going on here. Woo, look at you. You might miss out on love. The question was, why is this get to know each other card here? Don't miss out on an opportunity in love, okay? But the four of cups coming in here. You're stepping into this divine power or you're already there, Cancer. Some of you guys replacing codependent people, okay? Or people pleasing and you're more assertive in and power. You're strong right now in the month of April going into May. But you don't want to miss out on love. Someone wants your attention. Maybe a water sign that is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What's going on with this love? Someone that wants to get to know you. <clears throat> yeah came out five of wands here coming in reverse someone wants peace they want a good things okay in a connection with you i feel like they want harmony someone wants to get to know you learn about you they want to learn how to love you and what you need what your needs are okay learning to meet another another's need Okay, that includes you as well. All right. What other message do you have here for cancer? So you're dealing with fire and water over here. Doesn't necessarily have to be that sign though. Some of you guys are single, definitely, working on yourself, okay? Working on your own stability, your own growth, working on your body, your looks, looking good, feeling good, okay? Trying to build security in your life. Some of you guys are studying um, as well or improving your skill set when it comes to your job or career or applying yourself, okay? But I feel like a new connection wants to creep in here, possibly um, the beginning of May. That's what I'm feeling. Give me a card for Cancer. Woo! Endings, okay? Bring new beginnings. That's what you have here, okay? Endings bring new beginnings here, Cancer. Growth, change, liberation, and transition. So... Leave the past firmly where it belongs in the past here. Yes, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life here. I'm going to get actually one more message for you guys. I think we got that to end something, okay? Something new is coming in for cancer. Okay. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make new memories. I'm saying make new memories, okay? Don't be complacent. Learn from the past. Don't get stuck in it. 
okay and become unmotivated or lacking confidence or control over your future here when it comes to new love and new possibilities in love let's get a message for you or advice spirit guys are the most high what advice do you have here for cancer thank you number 41 they want you to bring something into form right now make something happen in your life they also want you to honor yourself here okay with the commitment to complete any dreams that you have any tasks that you started okay something that you put into motion po possibly in the past they want you to pick it up again they're saying whatever ideas you have okay the answer is yes and i feel like with the nine of pentacles here the answer is yes okay that you can ac achieve great things in your life here including love they're saying do it um the most high loves a bold spirit here cancer they they want you to realize that there is so much more to be gained um, and is waiting for you and nothing can stop it put the past firmly where it belongs in the past that's why i keep saying this grim reaper that looks creepy as hell okay telling you that there's no second chances to something that you walked away from whether it is a person place okay or something that you left behind here they want you to bring the new into form here all right that is your reading cancer thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it make sure you like subscribe and share this video for me hit the notification bell i'll be back with you guys see you cancers